What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time to reveal to us all of the brand new AEW action figure reveals that we got at AEW Fan Fest for Double or Nothing coming up this weekend. Of course, the big show, the big Fan Fest. We had, you know, some hype by Jeremy who tweeted out about the AEW figure reveals. He said, buckle up. He said, get ready. You know, it was going to be a huge day. And boy, was it. We got a ton of stuff to showcase, ton of stuff to go through, give you my thoughts and opinions on what we're getting, what is to come for the AEW figures and the lines and all this great stuff guys so with that being said let's go ahead and dive into it do not want to waste any more of your time let's go ahead and just start first off with uh, the brand new series that was revealed to us right a lot of speculation around it we had some leaks about it but today guys we got to see what the figures are going to look like and that is a huge thing so let's go ahead and get into it guys AEW unmatched series number one in this wave we're going to have five people we're going to have Kenny Omega Darby Allen Miro who we saw yesterday Britt Baker Dustin Rhodes and Cody or is that six people that's six people you dumb son of a bitch so starting out first guys I gotta take a look at this Kenny Omega the Kenny Omega figure looks really damn good not only does the render look good but I really like how the figure looks in person they did have this figure on display I think all the colors look great I think the head sculpt looks great I really like the transition of head sculpt you know it's the determined face he's not yelling he's not you know making a goofy smile he looks very determined there. He's got his nice haircut. More of a longer cut. He's got the blonde highlights in there. The figure looks really good, man. The airbrush tights that Kenny wears comes out really good in figure form. I think they captured that really well. But Unmatched Series 1 Kenny Omega looks really damn good. Really excited for this figure. But not only do we have Kenny Omega, guys, we also have Darby Allen in this set who looks insane. I think this Darby Allen definitely crushes the Series 3 figure. Now, as far as the Chase variant is concerned from Series 3, I think this one is really close up with it like they're both really good they both have the nice body paint this one does have the tattoo though so this one may slit you know this may slide by there he's got the sick ass face of tnt skateboard with him this darby allen is insane looking can't wait to see what it looks like in person as well i don't think they had that one on display you know if they did i'll plug in a photo here but the, at the time of recording this i didn't have all this information but i will plug in more photos if more photos are to come but i may not have gotten to see them at the time of recording so we'll just keep on moving guys we also got to see Britt Baker finally. We finally get our Britt Baker figure that we've been waiting on for a long, long time. Her figure looks really good. Hopefully she does have boot rotation. It looks like she's going to have boot rotation. I would love to see her intertwine with Adam Cole and some different pick feds. I think that would look really sick, but I think the wait is finally over. She does have her coat there with some teeth designs on it. Double jointed knees, double jointed arms. Her figure does look like her, so that's also very, very good. Can't wait to see how that figure is in person and how it scales with Cole, and hopefully that'll, you know, all work itself out but having a Britt Baker figure finally is really really nice especially sliding into that women's division there so that is a really nice figure we also have Miro who we already know you know we, we got the leaked image of him in packaging and it seems like they're going to be in silver packaging with the blue backing at least that's what I've gathered from like some different graphics that I've looked at I've looked at some different graphics and it does look like you know the unmatched collection is going to be in silver so it may have like some silver lining and stuff with the AEW figure packaging on there that That'll be uh, interesting to see, but we already saw what Miro looked like. You know, we, we got to dive into him yesterday, and, you know, it was a blurry image and everything, but we kind of figured, you know, what it was going to look like. We also have Dustin Rhodes in this set, so this is going to be our third Dustin Rhodes. He is in the blue gear, or the SmackDown gear, if you will, there. He does have the red intertwining. He's going to come with not only the yelling face that he had, but also the straight face, and I bet that figure will look really good mock to tie in with the blue backing of the packaging, tying into the blue of the gear. You know, not the most exciting release ever, and he's probably still really tall, but, you know, it is a change in pace. I'm glad that, you know, we're going to get... You, like, that's the two gears that you gotta have for him. So I understand it, you know, it's not a new character. A lot of people are probably gonna say, you know, why didn't we move on a new character in here? But it doesn't really bother me, man. It doesn't really bother me at all. That's fine with me. Really cool looking figure. And the last figure in Unmatched Series 1, guys, is going to be an LJN style Cody. So what they're doing here is I think they're gonna start plugging in these LJN style figures inside of, you know, like the Unmatched collection. So that way they can get, like, classic styles of figures that people love to collect but it's like a mix of modern wrestling with the older style that you know the older generations like to collect so that's really cool i'm on board with that i think that's really badass i, I guess i'm gonna have to start a unmatched collection mock since i have my unrivaled collection mock so that'll be very interesting to see indeed but uh i would have loved to seen this figure an unrivaled figure right i mean i would have loved to seen 
It's kind of weird because we have unmatched and unrivaled, so is it, it's not like elites and basics where, you know, you have that style figure. Is this an unrivaled style figure, like the one that's regular, but it's in the unmatched line? I don't know. It's very weird. I'm just going to call him unrivaled style because that's what we've, we've known from the beginning. So this Cody would have looked really sick in unrivaled style, but, you know, it is what it is. It looks dope. But not only did we get Series 1, guys, they actually revealed to us a lot, and it is going to be Sting. Unmatched Series 2 Sting was revealed, and it looks really cool. One thing that I am worried about is head looks a little bit big, at least from this angle, but having a Sting figure, I'm so excited to finally have a Sting. It is like his AEW look. It's not like a classic look or a WCW look or anything like that, like we discussed it could have been, but it is an AEW one. I don't know if that shirt is molded or if it is actually cloth and can be removable. Uh, his, uh, his trench coat does look to be removable, though, and he does have his bat, so that'll be interesting, but the, uh, the Sting figure looks good, at least at this juncture, the little render image, that should be really cool, but they unveiled tons and tons more, guys, so we are going to get into that. So one thing that they also showed off on display, guys, with Kenny Omega and the wrestling buddies and things like that, they also showed off this Amazon-exclusive Chris Jericho figure, which was really interesting. So when I first saw this figure, I thought, oh, this is just, you know, like a jacket variant or something like that. This is going to be a jacket variant of the Series 6 figure because it looks just like the Series 6 Jericho. But come to find out, it is not a Series 6 variant Jericho. It is actually an Amazon exclusive Chris Jericho. So on the little note card there by the figure, it does say Amazon exclusive Chris Jericho. But it is pretty much the Series 6 figure. It just doesn't look like it's going to come with the bandana slash scarf. And it's going to have a new jacket. So it's going to be very similar to the Chase variant Series 6 Jericho, but a little bit different with the jacket. I'm all for it. The jacket looks incredible. You can do so many different things with it. And and this is a nice Jericho figure to add to the collection. Even if you just got it for the jacket, I think it is totally worth it. You could put that on a Seth Drippin' Rollins. You could put that on a MDT figure, a Jericho. There's so many, like, limitless options for creativity with this guy. So I'm really excited for that one. But there is just so much stuff, man. Not only do we have this, but we have a few series of the Unmatched series. So I believe we've already covered the Sting figure from that. But we also have the rest of Series 2 unveiled to us, which is going to be MJF. MJF here, it doesn't show us the gear, at least at this juncture, but uh, he is going to come in his long, like, robe thing with his scarf pattern on it, which is really cool. It is rubber, so that's kind of eh, but I will say, hopefully, that the gear underneath is sick. I'm trying to think what event this was, and I guess you can kind of, you know, you can pretty much tell what the figure is going to look like. We already see the head sculpt, and MJF figures are pretty much the same, except the trunks are different, so we will have to see exactly, you know, what attire we're getting, but hopefully it is a nice attire, you know, linked to this coat here. On top of MJF, guys, we also have Santana and Ortiz, and just like their Series 4 figures, these guys look insane, man. These guys absolutely look insane. The Santana looks insanity with his yelling face and his pissed off face there with the headband. He's got his longer haircut. He's got the orange and black gear or like the camo and orange gear. Looks so freaking sick. His figure is so good from Series 4. This one looks even better. And on top of that, Ortiz looks insane with his tongue out head sculpt. He's got his overalls on and the camo. He got some great gloves. So many different colors and flashes here. This is a really dope figure, man. Both of these look insane. And we get more tattoo detail with our Ortiz figure. Because you guys know that last figure he had the inner circle shirt on. This time he does not. Maybe he could do a little playability with that with Switch out torsos and stuff I'm not entirely sure but I love the way that Santana and Ortiz both look in their unmatched two figures these these look really really good on top of these guys we also have a couple more figures here for our series two we have a Wardlow to go with our MJF figure so now we can finally get our pairing there with MJF with our Wardlow he is in wrestling gear I would have liked to seen a you know a suited body but I'll totally take it I think we'll probably end up getting that eventually but he comes with an interchangeable head sculpt so you get the regular regular Wardlow and then you get the pissed off one. Both of them look good. I think they look just like him. Really, this body mold is massive. I mean, he's a massive man, but Wardlow is looking pretty John Brown good. I like it. I think it fits really, really well here. I don't have any issues with it. Wardlow looks fantastic. I'm really happy that, you know, we did put him on our list of figures that we wanted to see, so seeing that there is really nice. On top of that, guys, we also have Tay Conti. Did not expect to Tay Conti whatsoever. Did not expect that at all, really, but her figure looks really good, too. I think it's cool because you get two different head sculpts here. You get like her hair up a little bit and then you get her hair down and the, the green attire looks really good. She's got her double jointed arms there, double
double jointed knees everything about this figure looks pretty good i think that you know it's again very important to to extend our women's division there and another women's figure added to the collection just building and building and building so that's always excellent but to see Tay conti in the unmatched series 2 that is pretty shocking i did not you know expect to see that here but uh there you go so unmatched series 2 is going to be sting mjf santana Ortiz, Wardlow, and Tay Conti, and I want to, I don't know if they said a mystery figure, or is that Series 3? I think it's Series 3 they have a mystery figure, so we'll dive into that soon. And by soon, ladies and gentlemen, we're diving into it right now. AEW Unmatched Collection Series number 3. We are finally getting our Brody Lee figure with TNT Championship. Now, I'm not sure if he's going to be in a suited body, or if he's going to have his wrestling gear. I'm sure they're going to give us a wrestling gear version and a suited version. It would just make the most sense. I really want, like, an exalted gear you know nice white entrance gear or something man i hope that we get something like that but this whole set is lit bro Brody lee anna j evil uno john silver Stu grayson and a mystery figure now i'm not exactly sure what the mystery figure could be i have no clue really but it seems like this whole wave is kind of dark order themed so we'll just kind of have to you know play that by ear see what comes of it but finally getting a Brody lee is so massive i'm super excited for that that's really all i can can say but having dark order is super insane man I'm, I'm so excited for this it should be absolutely incredible and I cannot wait to see what these figures look like once we get them. But having a lookout at Unmatched Series 3, uh, I'm just excited to know what they are and kind of plan ahead and what we're going to be getting there. So seeing that is awesome. But not only that, guys, but we also have what our Unrivaled Collection Series 7 is going to be. So we already know what Series 6 looks like and what we're getting. We now know what 7 is going to look like and what they, you know, not only who it is, but what they're going to look like. So let's dive in, guys. Starting off with Unrivaled Collection Series 7, we have FTR. We have both members of FTR coming in guys and not only that but they are in their white gear so the white gear looks super fresh i will say that i feel like both of these like their likeness is a little bit off it is a render image i don't want to spend too much time critiquing the render image because a render image just like you guys know with wwe mattel i'm sure that these could change any day now like if the, the render image could look like this we get a completely different figure at the end of the day so i don't know you know you never know but both of these guys just look a little bit off to me i don't know what it is but they look a little bit off to me hopefully that will change at the end but i do like the white gear I, i'm so glad to have ftr again just like the the tna and the you know in the jacks days with wwe you know seeing a guy in a wwe figure and then seeing him in a TNA figure. That's kind of what I'm doing here where, you know, we had a WWE Mattel. Now we're getting an AEW Unrivaled. Very insane. But here we go, guys. Diving into the next figure, we have Lance Archer, who looks crazy good, man. This guy is just super toyetic, as Jeremy would like to say. Really, a lot of great figure things going on. You have the tattoos. You got the massive size of the man. The attire is really nice. You got the buckles and the gear and the hair. Really nice. The head sculpt looks just like him. So Lance Archer is going to make his way into our collections. And he looks sick, man. He looks really, really sick. I'm super excited to see him here. And that should be a really fun figure to own. Not only do we have Lance Archer and FTR, guys, but we have a second tag team in this wave. And that is going to be the Young Bucks. We have the Young Bucks making their appearance again. So we have FTR, we have Lance Archer, and now we have the Young Bucks. Matt and Nick Jackson. This is their third set of figures. If you're not counting their version 2 series of, you know, you know one a and one B, but the black and purple and yellow attire is really sick. It does look like they're giving Nick his first head sculpt and Matt his, you know, his second head sculpt that we got. So I'm hoping that they change those at least a little bit more. I hope these aren't the head sculpts they go with. I hope and pray that they change them, but I don't know. You know, we'll have to see. We have seen a bunch of re-released head sculpts, but we've also seen new ones. So we'll have to see what exactly they go with, but I think these bucks look insane. I really like this gear. I don't know if I like this gear better than their Series 3 gear, but I still like it. I like the, you know, the change up there. And I'm all on board with any bucks we get because they're fun figures to collect for me. I don't really care how many they give us. Just like Cody and Kenny. Just keep pumping them out, Brad. I'll buy them. I, you know, I, I kind of feel bad there. But Matt and Nick look good in their attire. You could always switch the head sculpt if you wanted. So that's not even the biggest issue anyway. But I would appreciate a new head sculpt there. But the last figure in this set, guys, is going to be Nyla Rose. So that is another women's figure added to the collection there. I, I would love to see, you know, how many women's figures we're going to have by the end of the year, man. 
man. Like, it seems like they're really expanding upon the women's collections. Because So if you look at Nyla Rose, Britt Baker, you already have Sheeta coming out. We already have Riho. You also have uh, Anna Jay coming soon. So, and Tay Conti. So, I mean, the women's figures are really, really coming out. And it's really nice to see. But that is your Unrivaled Collection Series 7. And speaking of women's figures, guys, a new ringside exclusive. Now, this is going to this is gonna be a little bit odd for some people. I feel like, I don't know, this could be a hit or a miss. It's either going to be really good or really bad, I think. But we have a ringside exclusive double or nothing AEW authentic scale ring with Aubrey Edwards figure. An Aubrey Edwards action figure for our, you know, a referee figure. It's an exclusive Aubrey Edwards referee figure here. And I don't know, man. It's really hard to say because, you know, the first version was for the Kenny Omega gear. The, you know, the better looking or the, the gear that a lot of people wanted. And now we have this Aubrey Edwards figure. I don't know if getting an Aubrey Edwards figure, is that going to outweigh the cost of the ring? I don't know. That will be up to you when you purchase. But I don't know if it is worth it. You know, I feel like if it were a different play set, I feel like maybe. But pairing it with a ring, I don't know. We'll have to see about that. It obviously makes sense. You know, you buy the ring, you get the referee. Which, if anybody missed out on the first ring side, you know, the first AEW ring, then yeah, that would make a lot of sense. Because you could get not only the ring, but you get the referee with the ring. So I understand the thing there. But maybe a basic ring would have been better so you're not paying so much for the ring when a lot of people already have the first version i don't know but the figure looks cool i will say the figure is really awesome uh it's got the double joint arms you get the one count two count hands you get the you know slap in the mat hands and the head sculpt looks good so that's really all you can say about it but the aubrey edwards figure is there and the last thing that we have to showcase for you guys is going to be series eight of the unrivaled collection so not only series six and series seven but now we have series eight but we don't know what they're going to look like but i can tell you the full way here and it's going to be Trent, Chris Statlander, Chris Jericho, Chuck Taylor, John Moxley, and Orange Cassidy. So three re-releases here, you know, the, the separation between five and eight. You know, Tr Chris Jericho was literally in Series 6, and then he comes back out at 8, and then we also have the Amazon exclusive, so I know a lot of people are probably sick of Chris Jericho. However, having Cassidy, I don't mind it at all, and then adding, you know, the best friends and Chris Statlander is really awesome. Hopefully, this Orange Cassidy will be pretty much a re-release of his first version. Better head sculpt, but he will have, like, not the pocket feature. Don't give us the pocket feature. Give us legs that can articulate. That way, if it, we're doing figure photography, we can use the Series 3 to put the hands in the pockets, and then if we're not... If we're actually posing it around in match and, you know, stuff like that, doing action sequences, we can use the one that has fully articulated legs that can't put the hands in the pockets. That's what I hope for and I pray for, so that will make matches with him a lot easier and things of that nature. So hopefully that is the case, and that will be that. But I like Series 8. Again, you're going to have your re-releases again for your shelf space and selling and stuff like that. So I, I, I trust Jeremy. He's been doing this a really long time. I loved all the different, you know, things that we got today. So many things to talk about. So many things we can't talk about. If you guys understand that reference, huge shout out to you. But that is going to do it for all of our reveals, man. Tons and tons of stuff. I hope you guys stayed all the way to the end. If you stayed all the way to the end, hit me with a hashtag my damn reveals. Before we get out of here, guys, let's go ahead and get into our random shout out after we just went through all this news. And it's going to go to ugly rat underscore gaming who says, I think that an unmatched will get managers like Taz, Tully Blanchard, etc. Because Jeremy did say that unmatched would have managers and commentators. So that is an interesting point. I don't think we really saw any of that today, though, did we? I mean, we, we uh, well, at least not right, right off the top of my dome. I can't really remember. But huge shout out to Ugly Rat Gaming. I hope you guys enjoyed all of the reveals today. I had a super fun time, you know, going through and doing all of it. It was a lot. It was a crazy day because, like, you know, we had reveals at 12, and then I wanted to wait to put it all in a video, and then we had reveals at 2, and then, like, they didn't, re you know, they didn't put all the images out for me, so I had to search it out, wait, do all these crazy things, but we finally got it in there, and I hope you guys did enjoy it. But let me know what you think of all the things down below, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, my damn toys, and don't cross the line like, uh, hmm. I'm still going to blame the kick pad rotation. You cross the line, I've been beaten.